Hey Geeks, Tim Tibbets here with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to take a look at Windows XP Service Pack 4 Unofficial, meaning this is a third-party program. Your mileage may vary. I strongly suggest if you use this that you do so on a clean install. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about it while we get started here. It's a very large download and it's going to take a while to install, but essentially what this is, you're going to see it looks exactly like the Service Pack 3 install. This has a whole bunch of components added to it. It has the .NET frameworks. It has just a lot to really cover. The most important fixes are in here. It'll automatically disable updates when it's done. You can re-enable them. And uh, I'm trying to think what else. The POS Ready trick, if you're familiar with that. Uh, I think it's got the BitLocker to go built in for security. Uh, did I mention it has some registry tweaks as well to try and address some security stuff? Windows XP will always be a bit of a security risk. Most of us are just running it for fun, so that won't really... Nothing will fix it, but this is just another way that you can do it if you wanted to try something different since you're playing around. Otherwise, stick with Windows XP Official Service Pack 3. So uh, once again, I'll probably have to pause once or twice as we go through this, but uh, I had a couple problems with it. Before, as you can see, this looks exactly like Service Pack 3. So you do everything exactly the same. I had, you can back up, archive your files here, or do not archive. If you want to roll it back, you're not sure, you might want to do that. So essentially, I've uh, when I finish this, we'll see if it does it again. It seems like nothing ever happens twice. What it did do for me is I come back up and it, it locked up. So I just shut it down, forced a reboot, came back up, and it will take a while when you come back up because it's going to do a lot of work in the background as opposed to Service Pack 3. So when you reboot, it'll take a little bit. But So it's a little bit of a leap of faith on this thing a couple of times, so it's up to you. So this is going to take a little bit here, so we'll check right back with you. And just to keep you posted, this is kind of what you'll be looking at as it goes on. Nothing too exciting. Again, almost exactly identical to the Service Pack three and back to pause and there we go completing now let's see if she will freeze up on me again it's right about here it went to go reboot it froze up on me let's see if we get away with it here this time or not this is probably one of the reasons that I think you're better off doing it with a clean install All right, I guess we got her. And she comes back up. And as I'll show you briefly, because it doesn't get any more boring than sitting there looking at a blank screen, it should come up here with the, just before the uh, splash screen. This is, maybe this, this is where it froze up on me. Let's see what she does. That's right, this is where it froze. So as you can see, it's froze. Can't move anything. So what I ended up doing was restarting it this way I mean the virtual machine so it's a little bit different so as you can see this is the only reason I'm showing you this is it does take a little bit of a leap of faith to do it because if you lock up like I do who knows let's see what she does now I should get yeah I should get the splash screen now and it's gonna hang right here for a little while doing nothing so we're just gonna uh, hit pause again until this is done with it took a few minutes last time and we'll show you finishing up Eh, not as bad that time. It only, it only took maybe a, uh, probably only a minute that time. So, but if you, I can't make you any promises. One of the reasons I want to show you this is, more people download the official one. It probably five percent of the people download this as opposed to the official one. But uh, there, I mean, as you can see, there's not much uh, different than three, unless you go to your control panel and you can look at add or remove programs for example as you can see you have your not, uh, .NET framework uh, the Visual C++ redistributable you need those for a lot of programs that you'll run uh, it doesn't show any of the updates because they're all wrapped into their own little thing here but you can also go to add remove windows components and you can see there's different stuff installed here now than what you had before there's your BitLocker to go reader that allows you to encrypt drives uh, external drives whether it's thumb drives, whatever you got. Uh, there shouldn't be too much else different. A couple of things. There's your .NET frameworks. There's your uh, Windows Media Player. Windows Write Management Client. 
and nothing nothing too major but so basically you're just getting a more secure version of Windows XP with a little bit of risk of allowing somebody else to have modified what you know your registry and different stuff like that so again it's a leap of faith up to you might be might be worth it especially if you're just playing around otherwise if you really just want to simply use your XP and make sure you've got the updates you need grab the regular Windows XP Service Pack 3 from Microsoft and that is it Click subscribe. Thank you for watching and we will see you next time.